Hello, welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. It is January 6th, about 1.30, and it was a beautiful sunny day today. Um, I don't know if they predicted this, but I'm watching their predictions on weather.com, and I'm kind of finding them to be not great. You know, the 10 day gets really screwed up. Oh, it was like 68 degrees. Now at 1.30, the sun is not uh, right in this patio. So we've got 65, 64 degrees. And everything seems to be going good here, even though we get uh, cold snaps of like 31, 32 degrees at night. And I did plant some more lettuce here and this is not covered at night this is the one i cover at night and that red lettuce called breen is coming along kind of good i just harvested some lettuce I need to harvest a little bit more but i did plant some here in this bed and it is not being covered at night neither are these turnips these are turnips so it's liking, we we still have sunny days here, but, you know, they're like 66, 68, uh, 55. It'll get colder, too, but who knows if their predictions are right. And we did, so these germinated even in, uh, like, about a 32 degree, 31 degree temperature at night. Like, if you would cover them, they'd germinate just fine. And this is a Zone 8A, 8B gardening. Zone 8A in Northwest Florida. And my lettuce seeds have germinated. They get a nice little bit of sun in the early morning and the 9, 10 o'clock time when, they're, when the sun is in between these trees. <laughs> and it rained last night. I'd say about a quarter inch of rain we got. I'll show you the bucket that I've been I'm gonna dip my poison ivy with Dawn in to clean my ratcheting lopers. But yeah, stuff still grows and germinates even though it's 32, 31. I'm just picking these oak leaves out of here. The oak leaves bring disease. They just don't do much. They don't do much around here. We don't want leaves in there. And bugs. And, oh, here's a honeybee. You don't see the honeybees during the heat dome. I don't know what they do during, like, July and August. Well, it looks like a honeybee. And I, so I'm just leaving these bok choy to come to seed. I can't possibly eat all of that. And... Yep, here's our other, yeah, that was, uh, what doesn't like under 50 is like banana trees, and this was canna lily, and I'm surprised at my, uh, this is confederate jasmine here, kind of a windbreak, and a sun blocker, and privacy screen that I like with a volunteer longleaf pine sticking out of it. But I'm surprised that this is holding on too. So it really probably hasn't gotten, you know, it probably has gotten to freezing and that's it, where you see a little ice. But I'm surprised the leaves, I used to have, this must have acclimated that the leaves will stay on. Because I remember when this plant, this, uh, star confederate jasmine that's what this is was younger the leaves would just all the leaves would just drop off you know it's either that or whatever they say global warming or but uh it's nice that it doesn't quite go below freezing only in the very early morning like five o'clock six o'clock in the morning oh i should have pulled that cover back but this is a part of an old furnace that was in my building that I use magnets to cover that at night when it's going to be freezing or under under 50. 
I cover it. Under 40 for the lettuce. The other night I didn't have to. It was it, actually last night was 50, but it was it was such a hard rain. I didn't want my lettuce to get pummeled. So yeah, we did eventually get the mimosa tree to fall down over here with the pry bar scooting of the very long, and that's about it that's left. The rest of it's on the wood pile here. So here's my rain gauge here. This bucket got this filled up with the rain that we had last night. So maybe it'll get more filled up. Here's my wood pile. Got that covered with a tarp. Here's what an armadillo did here. Now I did, was watering here during the heat dome because I had some uh, pumpkin vine but the pumpkins never matured because they kind of started late after the heat dome probably you know there was a seed here I didn't plant it it was like a volunteer leftover seed and yeah canna lilies are doing fine are dead I mean banana trees are dead Bananas just, it's not long enough season. But the roses are doing pretty good, and I think it's the lengthening of the days. This one never does well. I don't know if something ate, is eating the roots or what the issue is here, but this one never does great. I'm just leaving it alone. This one never does as well as that one in general. This one's really in the heat. This one never gets any shade. And I did find mobile tunnels here. So that's what's up with that rose bush. And my palm tree is surviving here. So we haven't got the worst of it though, but the palm tree's making it. But the banana tree over here in the middle is just not, that's, that dies at 50 degrees and wilts to the ground. You should chop those down with a chainsaw. And the burn barrel is ready, and I always put this lid on here so it at least starts. But it was a beautiful day today. Oh, here's my ant hill. Maybe they will decompose this piece of fire ant. And I put the biochar on the compost pile here. This one's my active, really active one here. Uh, yep, all eggshells in there. Anything, piece of a red onion. Get that on there, but a beautiful day today. But I was really tired of chopping down trees. Like I cleared this area of brush. This, these sweet gums right here are gonna be the next trees that come down. Cause actually I'd like to be able to drive around my whole property. So if I cut an angle right here, that might, that could happen. But it's gonna be a lot of clearing. A lot of clearing of trees. Probably this this one will be the next one to go. And it's probably about a 40 footer, 45 maybe, all the way up there. I'll show you when it's done.